When the Corn is Waist High by Jeremy Scott. A series of murders strike a small Indiana town and the local pastor slash sheriff has to figure out what's going on and he has to deal with the investigation and the limited population that they have in this little town as everyone's trying to put it in perspective. Spoiler alert, because I can't talk much more about this book without talking about the central twist in it all. As I was going through the book, I, I kept finding the main character so strange because he's in this town, people are being murdered in horrible fashion, and he doesn't seem that troubled by it. He doesn't seem that eager or curious to find out who did it. And when I was reading it, I thought that it was a failing in the writing, that he's just not fleshing out the character like he should. And then it turns out the sheriff slash pastor is the one who's been killing people in these horrible ways. He's doing it because he sees himself as saving them because he sees them when they're at their purest. And then he, if he kills them, then they go straight to heaven, straight into Jesus's arms, and, and they're all good to go and they don't have time to mess things up. So they end up in the wrong place after they die. I generally like these kinds of twists. And it, this one ki kind of worked for me. I kind of go 50-50 on it. It's clever how he used the first person narrative to dance around the fact that the narrator knows exactly what's going on. I found the main pastor sheriff guy not particularly compelling as a person because he seemed to be a collage of character attributes like you just copied and pasted a bunch of clip outs from a, a magazine or something and just slammed them together. I feel it was more convenient to the plot than an actual character, but everything wraps up in the end with a conclusion that's consistent with everything else in the book. So I'm somewhere in the middle, I guess. The weird part about this book is it's very dark and yet the prose is very funny. Like there's lots of jokes, there's lots of quirky side characters that you kind of laugh at as you go along. So it's very disorienting to have those two in the same book. Again, I think I'd go 50-50 on this. Kind of worked, kind of didn't for me. Overall, I give the book two and a half stars. If you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments below.